Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries. Today, I got my old trusty Browning A5 with the Kicks High Flyer Full Choke. And today, I'm gonna do something that semi might be a little controversial. It might even cause some of my friends that I know um, that I'm close to to disagree with me, and that's okay. We're adults here, we can disagree on things and see things in different lights. But I'm gonna do something a little bit interesting, okay? First off, before you guys freak out and ask why I'm shooting a full choke, I might do a separate video and podcast on that. Just real quickly, I switched on the 2019-2020 season. The last month I started shooting a full and my cripples uh, went way down. I really didn't feel like I had a lot of cripples to begin with with the modified choke, because I really do love kicks chokes. Um, but I switched to full and it was either a clean miss or a smashed shot. So that is a, in a nutshell why I switched. I'll do more and talk more about that later. So what I'm gonna do today though, where, I, where I'm saying this might cause a little controversy, I've been told by a lot of people, and I do agree with them, that our channel is showing the next generation how to hunt, what's ethical, what's not ethical. stuff like that. So there's a lot of pressure on us to show that. And I, I wanna do that. I always wanna show what is ethical. I wanna show what's right and humane. Did I start this channel for that reason? No, actually I didn't. But what I realized when it started growing really fast that other people are learning from it. And so what I wanna do, I want to give the best possible information that I can give with research study and experience, okay? It's because experience is the best teacher. So if I can help you guys eliminate some of those issues, before you make them out in the field as new hunters. That's what I wanna do. So this could be a good video for people that have been hunting for a long time, just out of curiosity's sake. What I'm gonna do, guys, is right here, I got a, I'm got. i at an awesome looking place up in the hills, and it's green right now, it's springtime. Best, kinda of one of my favorite times of year. Obviously, fall is my favorite for duck season, but I'm going to put a target, and it's gonna be the duck. I was gonna cut them out, but I thought, you know what, I don't even wanna do that. It doesn't show as good of an example as an actual uh, one that shows fluorescent once the shells hit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a stake that's about, I'd say, four feet high with a uh, target of a duck, a full-size mallard. Uh, you guys, if you've watched any of my patterning videos, you've seen those targets. As soon as you hit it, it highlights where the BBs went into. So I'm gonna tack those to a four foot stake, basically like a duck's coming down in the decoys. And I'm gonna put one at 20, I'm gonna put one at 40, and this is where it might get a little steamed and heated down in the comment section. I'm gonna put one at 60. Am I advocating to shoot ducks at 60 yards? Absolutely not. Have I killed a duck at 60 yards? I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna throw myself out there in front of you guys, because a lot of people will not be honest on the camera because of fear of repercussions of what people are gonna say about you. I have killed a duck at 60 yards. Do I advocate that? No, I'm gonna say it again like 5,000 times. I've done it. Maybe it was out of pure being um, irresponsible. Maybe it was out of being desperate. You know, there's no birds flying. Um, like I said, really never happens. But I'm just gonna stand up and be honest because some people won't do that. Because everybody's idea of uh, 40 yards and 60 yards is is very construed. <laughs> it's not, people, I've seen people say things are 40 yards and they're every bit of 60. So anyways, and the reason I'm putting one at 60 yards, guys, is because I want people to see how much or how many BBs are actually hitting the duck. In other words, probably to show that that's not where we should be shooting ducks at. I want them in the decoys. You want them in the decoys. Every duck around I know wants them landing in the decoys. That is our first pick, but not every time do we have that opportunity. And a lot of us choose to just not take it if it's beyond those ranges that we're comfortable with, whether it's 30, 40, 50, just won't take the shot. More power to you, that's good. We all have our ranges. But what I wanna show, and I'm curious for myself, to be honest with you, I came out here to do this video just for me, and I thought I'm gonna throw the camera on. So 20, 40, 60, let's go. Now I do have a range finder. Thomas let me borrow his Leopold range finder. So I'm getting exact numbers. I'm gonna do 20 yards, 40, 60. I'm gonna show you the stake and the paper. This is the paper I'm gonna shoot at and it will highlight yellow where all the BBs contact. Another thing I wanna say is I will be shooting the heavy hammers. These are three inch four shot. They're going at 1500 feet per second and they're one and a quarter um, shot charge. 12 gauge, three inch, four shot. 
I was wanting to shoot the heavy metals actually. I mistakenly just realized that I did not bring the heavy metals because that is what I normally shoot. But I thought, you know what, this is more affordable, so it's actually probably better. It's not much more than their heavy still, honestly. And this kit has 15% bismuth in it. So 15% bismuth, 85% steel. Whereas the heavy metal is 30% bismuth and 70% uh, steel. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, I confirmed that is 20 yards. Now tell me something. That camera is directly behind me. Does that look like 20 yards on the camera? Can you tell me on the camera that that is 20 yards that is a life-size mallard silhouette that probably looks like 40 yards on the camera to you guys and see that's what we get harassed all the time you guys are shooting them at 40 yards 60 yards why do people do that they have no clue i can do the same thing i've watched videos and i'm thinking man that looks like it's 40 yards away but because i know how it is with cameras this is a nice camera this isn't a gopro this is a this is a 2500 dollars camera right here that you're seeing so i'm going to zoom in on that um, i'm going to shoot it standing up that bird's like it's coming in the decoys. I'm going to shoot it at 20 yards, free-handed, boom. Obviously, ducks are moving, but let's just pretend it's hovering over the decoys. I'm going to shoot it, and we're going to see how many holes get in it. Twenty yards. Look at that, I shot high. I just pulled up and shot real quick. That's what you do in a real hunting situation. So look at that. I still would have killed that bird, but I would not have. Made, I did not make a full impact on that bird. And besides that, my uh, Browning A5 does shoot a little bit high. I know, I know. I need to shim it. I'm gonna go adjust that back to 40 yards, and when I come back, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, we got our next target down there at 40 yards. Look at this. This is how bad. This is called bad shooting. This is not called bad choke bad ammo, anything else. This is 20 yards, okay? Remember, look at this. Bad shooting. I shot high. I shot high on the right. I pulled my gun, boom. I mean, that thats that was my reaction. That's how I shot. Look at it. That could have been a crippled bird. Now, if I was shooting a modified, yeah, I might have I might have a few more because a modified is going to spread out more. And I might have a few more on the bird, but would that have killed that right away? I honestly don't know. I mean, there's a couple in the chest. Would have busted his wing. But it was a bad shot on my part. That was at 20 yards. Let's see what 40 yards looks like. Reconfirm it's 40 yards. Let's go see what it looks like. All right, guys, here's my 40 yard one. So again, it's kind of spread out. I've never patterned this heavy hammer um, with the full I've done it with the heavy metal, and so I know what that shoots like. It shoots really good. Anyways, I mean, this is how I would shoot in a real situation duck hunting. I'd pull up, shoot. Looking at the 60 yards now, honest to God, I don't think I've ever shot at a duck at 60 yards. When you put something in perspective that small, that far away, it really puts it in perspective. And really, if you guys are wanting to learn and you're new at duck hunting, go buy a cheap rangefinder. You can literally find them for like 70, 80 bucks. Go buy a cheap rangefinder and look at these distances. You can go buy these online. They're called, uh, go to birchwoodcasey.com. That's who makes these, birchwoodcasey.com. They're pre-game targets. And I'd say it might be a little bit smaller than a ma real mallard, but that's a long ways. But just that for curiosity's sake is really why I'm doing this. Um, I want to shoot at it, so let's go ahead and shoot. Um, by the way, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine BBs in this 40 yard one, and I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the 20 yard one. Anyways, let's shoot this six yard just, just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> it's a long ways, boys. I don't even know if I'm going to hit, honestly, hit this thing. All right, let's go see. All right, guys, this is the damage done at 60 yards with the full choke. Just goes to show you, I mean, that would have broken his wing right there. That probably would have broken his wing, but really, two BBs. Yes, the target would be moving probably. It might fall into this fuller part of it, but really, I mean, that's a full choke and that's all you're getting. So kind of another example why you just don't shoot that far, guys. Like, I mean, you, your odds of killing, you're not gonna kill that bird. You're gonna wound him, 
and really you know i know every ammo is different that's a heavy hammer for all i know heavy metal you could put a full thing on it and just just be gnarly and another thing if i had a, a four foot by four foot piece of white paper down there and shot it obviously i'm going to get a better accurate rating and that's what you would want to do if you're really patterning your gun guys that's what you would want to do is 48 inch by 48 inch and you shoot to the center of that this is not a pattern video i'm asking the question comment down below how far can you ethically shoot a duck? People, a lot of people say 20 yards. They say, you go over that, you're unethical. I don't personally agree with that. I can shoot ducks at 40 yards very, very, very confidently. And a lot of people think that's sky busting. Others think they can shoot 50, 60 yards. I'm not gonna call them unethical. I'm not gonna say they're unethical. I'm not gonna, cause to me that's kind of an insult to people. I mean, unless you're literally doing something like torturing an animal or you're just, which wounding them is torture because if you can't find them, more than likely you're not going to at 60 yards if you cripple them and sell them. That is torturing, bro. That's not right. Have all duck hunters had that happen to them? Yes. Anybody that tells you that they haven't is a liar. It does happen to the best of people. This was just a good little backyard test that I kind of want to show you guys and see what your thoughts are too. I don't want dissension and argument down in the comment section. I don't mind if we disagree because you're probably gonna disagree watching this. I just want us to see some numbers, especially for the new hunters, look at that. That That is 60 yards, go mark it off, step it off. I believe, and now I use a range finder, so I was accurate on these numbers, but I believe it's 12 steps for every 10 yards, I believe. I'll look that up and pop that on the screen. If I'll correct myself on the screen if it's not, but if you wanna go find out what 60 yards looks like, you know, go step out 72 steps from a spot and go stand back and look how far it is. That's, that's a long ways, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just, just to end this video off for the fun of it, I'm gonna put one of these back up again at 20 yards. I'm gonna take an actual rest and see how full we can make it because human error is a big factor. <laughs> Holy moly. I was almost second guessing that heavy hammer. This shows how bad I was shooting over. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that would do the trick. 20 yards. Look at that. I mean, even then I was just a smidge high, but it's like, good grief. That poor bird. I'm not even gonna try to count that, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight headshots. I'm not even gonna count the body. I don't wanna throw people in with us and definitely not compare myself to them and thinking we're anywhere near those guys. But one of my idols was Duck Commander guys. You know, Phil, Jace, those guys can shoot so well. It's, it's unbelievable. And um, you know, all that crew, all of them, they all can shoot really good. I'm sure they can outshoot me by a long shot and I don't even, that's fine. <laughs> I'll give them that credit. Those boys know how to shoot. But they almost all shoot full chokes. Almost no matter the time or day, the hunt, they shoot fulls. You can't shoot heads off of ducks if you're shooting an improved cylinder or modified, more than likely. And if I've watched them many times. They're saying they're shooting full chokes. So I thought, you know, if those guys are that good of shots and, and that's what they use, and I think they're very ethical, and I think they do good hunts and awesome videos, then I'm going to use what they use. And I'll tell you right now, Seeing the results definitely makes me a believer. You got to remember, there's so much, there's so many things involved in shooting shotguns and shooting waterfowl. You, number one, you got movement of the bird. Number two, you got human error. You know, us moving, putting on a bad aim, a bad shot, whatever. And number three, your pattern. You know, and I'm not gonna say, you know, I've used the cheap shells. You guys know that. I used to. I've used Super X for years and years and years. The first thing, go to Walmart, you buy the $10 box of shells. That's fine, I've killed birds my whole life with it. What is ethical? I'd say that was pretty ethical. Um, I believe that I could get a pattern to look like almost identical to that at 40 yards. I'm not gonna mess with it. This video's been long enough. I'm taking a rest. That just shows how much I'm, I have a natural tendency to shoot over top of the bird. I mean, I only had nine BBs in it at, uh, what was that? 20 yards, that's ridiculous. That shows how bad I shot. So you take a rest, you really put a name on it. That is damage. Okay, I hope this video opens some eyes, you know? Um, some may say, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot that far, good. Don't do it. Some are gonna say, wow, you know, I need to switch to full. Some say, I'm gonna stay with my mod fight. Yeah, however you wanna do it. 
This isn't to change anybody's mind, guys, not to cause any ar arguments. I find this interesting myself, personally, so uh, that's pretty gnarly. That's why I said when you hit them, you hit them. And when you miss, you miss. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.